Tonight, a high school student is fighting for his life after apparently getting attacked at school. It is a story we first broke on Wayne.com. Police have confirmed the assault happened earlier today at DeKalb High School. We have since uncovered that one teen is in intensive care, the other in custody. News Channel 15's Janice Allen has been following the story. And Janice, what do we know tonight about the student who was attacked? Well, family members tell us that he is a junior at the school and had only been going there for about a week. They say he had been bullied before, but they never thought it would ever go this far. And the bigger kid just right up side of the head. Details of a brutal attack in the hallway of DeKalb High School. It happened early Friday as students looked on. A heated argument between two students quickly became physical when one swung at the other. The little kid tried to duck. It just, just hit him, went straight to the ground, smashed his face as soon as he hit the ground. They were talking about there's blood everywhere, and they just couldn't believe it. It was just so brutal and gruesome. The victim was taken away in an ambulance, the other teen in handcuffs. The DeKalb County Sheriff's Department confirms the fight took place, but isn't releasing many details since both students involved are juveniles. Family members say the boy had been bullied before. They think it had something to do with the baggy clothes that he wore. Students say his clothes and the way he talked made him a target, but it wasn't just him. This sophomore says bullying is a big problem at the school. It's not really reported a lot. It's just people ignore it. They just try to get on with their lives. For the victim's family, though, there is no going on while their teen's life hangs in the balance. They say the hit to his head caused bleeding in his brain. At last check, the 17-year-old was listed in critical condition at Lutheran Hospital. Now, the superintendent of DeKalb Central School says the district is extremely concerned with what happened. She says this fight could easily be grounds for expulsion and that the school will cooperate with any investigation and prosecution. Live in News Control tonight, Janice Allen, News Channel 15. As for any criminal case, police say the teen faces an initial charge of battery. He is in the Allen County Juvenile Center now where he is waiting on a detention hearing. Police